Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles. Now, in this video, we're going to take a look at something I've been using for a while. I've been using something called Umodeler. Um, of course, you've probably seen some of my videos with the platforming. Uh, you've even seen some of the tutorials I've been doing with Umodeler and how to use a few uh, specific tools. Well, normally, Umodeler costs, um, I think, upwards of uh, about $125 US. And uh, that's fine because Umodeler is actually pretty good and I think it's worth every dollar but I wanted to show you guys something that just came on my radar and it's called you monitor light and so we're going to take a quick look at how you monitor light differs from the actual regular full version of you modeler um, and to see hey can you take you monitor light uh, for a spin and kind of help you get used to using you modeler and then transition into the uh, the brother edition of it. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is head over to the Unity Asset Store, and we're gonna go ahead and download it. Now I already downloaded, but you're gonna go ahead and download it. Let's see here. So it's pretty simple. Just head over to the Unity Asset Store, and you can see it here. So it has a nice little presentation for it. Basically things that you can do with the overall you modeler tool. And uh, of course you can model your world, your whole world, world, how do I say world? You can model your whole world with you modeler and um, it's a pretty unique tool. Of course, it's going to be very similar to um, other modeling tool sets. Um, but being built directly inside of Unity um, is pretty dope to me, and um, it has a lot of functionality. But with them coming out with a light version, it allows you to kind of get a taste of what you can expect with the product. Um, and you can actually get a lot out of it um, based on a few things that I uh, already kind of played with. And as you can see here in the videos, just kind of demonstrating some of the basics. So anyway, it's free. So go ahead and download it, add it to your assets. and. Um, Let's take a look at it. So I'm going to minimize the screen and I'll go ahead and close this. So once you get this all installed here and I have a scene already kind of prepped here, ready to go. Now, um, the first thing is if you're not familiar with you modeler, so at the very top here, you have uh, a little toolbar here and this is going to give you a few things. Here's going to get you to all your different ways you can actually interact with it. And of course you have this here. This is your little I guess kind of like a little settings to kind of change from uh, no snapping to world snapping on the grid or increment and then you use this. This is pretty much what I use most of the time. Um, so yeah, so far so good. Um, it looks like we're missing the 3D cursor and I use that um, in the full version for things like positioning and um, pivoting and things like that. And so of course, there's going to be some limits to the light version, which is expected. So let's take a look on the right side here. So if I were to let's go ahead and close that, I'm going to go ahead and create a object in the scene. So let's see here it and I'll go ahead in, in my scene and I'll just go ahead and make a cube here. All right, perfect. All right. So we have this created here, which is awesome because it still has the ability to draw out just like the full version. And I think that is what makes you modeler so unique is that you can kind of draw out your your shape as needed. And so I, I, that's what I really love about it. Um, so once I go ahead and commit to that, we have these three objects, which are really just one object. So um, so on the right side here, we have some options here. Now, as you can see, some of these options are grayed out. That's because this is the light version. But let's see what it does give you, right? So it gives you loop selection. It looks like for the drawing, um, you get a line tool. And let's see here, you get the rectangular tool. So let's go ahead and play with that. So for instance, uh, if I were to, let's see, I'll go ahead and create something now and uh, bring that up like so have a surface there so I have a tool uh, box here going and then I'll go ahead and commit to that and then I'll just grab this I guess this uh, line tool and then we can draw right on this just like you would expect which is awesome and so now I commit to that and that's awesome so you got that ability still and again that's what makes you modeler so unique because I haven't really seen any other product built into Unity that will give you that ability to draw on your mesh and to then go f and do further editing with that. So for instance, we could take that 
that particular spot and we can extrude it. We can extrude it just like so. We could uh, go inward, of course, create some something else kind of cool, whatever fancies you, whatever you want to do. Uh, that's that tool is awesome. So having this built into the light version is already pretty cool. Um, another thing you have the if you don't want to draw out the shape, you can do something like this. Right. And then you got your square there. And let's see what else do they have? They have primitives here. So uh, we can go ahead and just do, I guess, that. I think that's what that is. Let me get rid of that. Let's see what else that we got here. I'm going to click this and do one click build. Will that give us a cube? Yep, yeah, right. Cube just built right into the scene. Pretty expected. Nothing special because when you use Umodeler, you actually get used to drawing your meshes a lot. It's very rare that I actually use uh, these types of things, but um, they're there if you need to use them. But as you can see, you can do things like this. And then if you want to kind of go another one for whatever reason, you can do something like that. But those are pretty standard primitives and they uh, work pretty good. And that's all built into that. And as opposed to uh, when you make those, in this case, it's just one mesh, which is nice. So cool. What else do we got going on in the light version? So it looks like it has the push pull tool. So let's see if that works. So let me select this mesh here. And it looks like we still have those. Let me take my push tool. And if it's similar to, yep, yeah, exactly. So this right here is, is awesome, right? So the push tool uh, allows you to carve out a shape within the shape. And it just uh, gives you so much flexibility when you're building out your, your, your spaces and whatnot. And you can probably already guess you know, you can do so much with something like this. And so if I really wanted to go really down to it, I could change this to maybe none. And then I can go really small and create something like right here on here, like so. And so I created a square right on there, that line basically. And then if I use my push tool, it may work. Cool. So you see what I'm saying? So there's so much we can do with this. Um, and so having the fact that the push tool is actually part of the light version, uh, that's actually pretty dope. And so um, that alone is worth just picking up the version, the, for, the free version, I guess you can say, and uh, playing with it. Um, and if we have some other things in here, combine tool, uh, we have a detach tool, um, and it says you have a UV tool. Let's see what that does. So if I want to select this object and hit UV, and then if I open the UV editor, let's see what it does for me. Oh, and of course, the UV editor is going to be in the full version. So if you want to do any UV, you're going to have to pick up the full version. But that is completely fine because at this stage, um, you're learning and you're growing. And chances are you're using this really to block out your world. And, uh, and I think for the most part, that's pretty cool. So yeah, so the UV version, uh, UVing or doing anything like that is going to be in the full version. Let's see what else we have here. Um, it looks like you can assign materials, so that's fine. So you can set up some pre, set up some uh, some different materials here and assign them to the mesh as needed. So that's cool. That's there, and we have the local settings tool, and um, we can do back facing, invisible and play mode, things like that. And so yeah, I mean it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the tools area up here says when you go to tools, you go to light, and that's pretty much it. You got new you modeler and then of course you have an about and that's it there's no settings here and if you take a look at the uh i think the asset store on the asset store page is going to show you kind of what you get for the light version obviously versus the full version and so it kind of lines that out there for you but of course it's going to be commercial use and you're going to have some of those powerful push and pull uh functionality and i think that's pretty dope so um, I always thought about Umodeler when I was first looking at it, and I was like, man, you know, it'd be really cool if we can get some people to kind of play with it and use it without um, having to spend any money to kind of commit to it. And I think this light version is a home run for it. Um, it's really great because I have a lot of people that I know that ask me about Umodeler, 
and um, they want to play with it, but they're not exactly sure if they want to spend the money for it. Um, but them now having the option to use a Umaler Lite, uh, that's that's awesome, and I expect people to kind of play with it and uh, see what it can do. And what's really great about Umaler, generally speaking, is the support. Um, if you head over to the Discord, um, the developers over at Umaler are super super nice, uh, and they listen and they implement features all the time. Every time I go there, there's people asking questions about whether or not it has this feature, how did you do this, whatever. Um, and they always add a few features based on the community. I've even had some features added based on some of the things that I've come across and uh, and they've been implemented and that's pretty do that's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. So anyway, take a look at Umara Light. Um, go download it. I'll have a link in the description to it so you guys can play with it. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Is this something that you want to use? Do you think you're going to implement this into your project? Um, do you do you like the light version? Do you like the way that they approached it? Because a lot of tool sets don't really have a free version to the full version and that sort of thing. Sometimes it's, you know, just buy it and try it out and return it. But in this case, it's more like download it, try it, use it forever until you're ready to get up to the full version to take advantage of some of these other awesome tools here and so um yeah but anyway uh let me know in the comments um and uh hit me up anytime and of course um modeling will get tough you guys but as always remember never give up and keep moving forward peace